Hello boys, so we will continue playing with Forest and I'm looking uh, report for our next opponent what is Palace and they are managed by another Croatian, I mean Croatian who was managing Swiss national team Petkovic so they are playing with three at back so I decided to uh, to do a few changes because I have a uh, Rovella is suspended and that guy is on this fucking how it's called African Cup of Nations, my striker. So I'm going only with one striker. Uh, I didn't want to play Diamond. I'm missing one striker in hard away game. And I'm missing Rovella. So for now I will go like this and then in second half if needed, uh, maybe I will change to penetration tactic. Regarding the potential transfers, as I already told you, probably will be only I will try maybe to in the on the deadline day to try Eddie and that's it. Because I feel the striker position is mandatory to have to have some kind of reinforcement to be uh, Mangala is having cut. So the striker is only the position where I'm afraid of injuries and mostly I'm now playing with two strikers so definitely I need one more if I want to challenge for title and that is the plan, plan is to win the league now. I also saw one that uh, in my reserve team I have one Central defender who is 17 and he is actually playing for England youth youth team so maybe I even will promote him to, to train with us after this game to boost his price even more. This guy uh, nobody is interested so I will remove this one he will also stay and actually I will the light changed to two strikers. Okay, let's uh, let's change to two. Actually, I will put Johnson to play striker and Serrano on the left. Try to score more. So that is my plan. I mean. If you expected a really fancy and uh, crazy January trans transfer window, nothing, nothing from that. Maybe if Lingard went off and then... But it's not easy to, to sell the players if there is nobody is interested. Come on, score the second one, excellent. Neko Williams, very nice pass. I think I'm uh, training him as inverted. To improve okay please go much easier than I expected regarding my schedule until end I have uh, most of the big games in a way actually I have I know that I have City and uh, Tottenham at home but uh, Liverpool uh, Arsenal are in a way, I think, and maybe even Chelsea, so, come on, unlucky. Regarding the future plans, I'm not sure. I, uh, Friday I need to travel to work, so there will be no any new videos, I think, for some time. Because I will not stay in Croatia, so... If I do some uh, saves or I play a little bit FM, this will be posted on my topic on FM base. 
maybe I will do somebody from uh, lower divisions just for fun, for that I can play few years. I mean, last two years I was doing Salford and Shrewsbury. Maybe I will do again something like that just to have fun. Okay, so we have seven days until next game. I don't have so much time around for half hour I have so because now I'm busy with uh, traveling preparations and some other shit so at least I think we can do this next three games and complete transfer window. Yeah, I mentioned a youth prospect from uh, Nottingham Forest. Uh, I think I will now promote him up. I mean, or maybe it's better just that he stays because under 20, <coughs> in under 23 he is playing. I think he is playing. I will check now his profile. I'm not sure. I think I already adjusted his training. I need to see. Under 23. This one, James Clarich. I mean, not ideal. He has a lot of weaknesses, including the tackling. But you see that his price. At least he's playing in this under 23. Maybe. We, we are lucky and somebody want to buy him for big money. Yeah, I'm doing his defensive positioning. Okay, nothing for now. This guy will also return next season for selling. Young goalkeeper, uh, not so young, 26, also to sell. So, Fulham at home, let's see now. Uh, it is really nice that I am playing every, the game every, uh, one game per week. It helps a lot. So they are playing with attacking midfielders, so I think I will start like this and then we will see. If need, I, I can change to two strikers. And it's actually a little bit good for me that uh, I am playing different systems now. Because I will need a diamond against big teams. I think so. A very nice cross. Very nice. I'm very, very happy with this fucking Stanisic, what he plays. Very nice, very very nice. 
Okay, uh, it would be good if Tottenham drops some points just because of my hard schedule. Fuck, we are in so good form. This is this is insanely insanely good. I mean, for now. I'm demanding more. I'm going to let's can we win 8 0? So, regarding 3 4 3, what I was streaming last night, probably tonight again I will a little bit stream and we will continue testing, and then probably. Uh, I'm hoping to release it soon. I don't expect that it will be uh, like compared to this one, but I, especially in the holiday test, but I feel it's good. Uh, shit. No, I have this guy who can play. And two subs. Who is shooting Abitinia, I think, normally. He missed. I mean, three goals he scored and then he missed the penalty. To check one thing. Okay, this one we done to beat offside trap. Can I try place shots if possible? Try later on, maybe first time shots if possible. At least that's my plan. West Ham game, then is the deadline day.
Looks like Rabiat is joining United. I mean, shitty player. Still better than McTominay, at least. Man United is very far. I mean, not very far actually. So Tottenham four points, Arsenal four points, and then Liverpool is here and City. Washington, Bowens, Kamaka, right? Grealish. Uh, okay. Nyakata is back, but look, the Spanish is he's on seven point four. 7.4 last 5 games How much is his concentration? 13 position 13 now Will I remove this fucking uh, guy from the starting spot? But he's also not playing badly I mean 7-0-9 in the league, Stanisic. Okay, this is wrong, some fuck up. 7-28, ah, he's playing better. How is his... fairly strong. Actually, I'm thinking to keep him. Okay, his concentration went up slightly. Yeah, I'm doing defensive. Okay, I will keep him because he's my player, but he will be very under focus now. So West Ham is playing uh, with attacking midfielder. Will I, will I play like this? Okay, let's uh, play like this then. with one striker I mean this one amateur tactic it's if you are not sure what to play you can always start with this one because it's like balanced tactic you have three midfielders <sighs> that means you can play against any shape and you have enough wide players so so if you're not sure Especially now I'm in situation where I'm missing another striker, so... And last game we played good. And this fucking Vitinha now is in the form, so... Entire, entire team is focusing on him. I have feeling I'm scoring easier than in with, with Fulham. Uh, or maybe I'm just wrong with that one. Please go. Unluckily. Goldson is having card. I think I will replace him. And 6.6 .6 rating.
I will switch to two strikers. Uh, so we will take more risk on one sub. This guy or Mangala? I will go with physicality player. But uh... okay, Serana will come. Maybe it was better that I went with Diamond. I think actually Diamond was better in this situation, but okay, okay for now. Because then I can keep all these midfielders and just... Did I create any chances? One more highlight. If nothing, I will change to Diamond Boys. Because I didn't create enough, nothing. So. I need to replace him. Okay, Serana will play. I need. Uh, See, I have only one shot on the target. Not great. This was the perfect chance. Come on. The left back scored from the bench. Excellent. You see Niakata rating 6.2, 6.3. So I think from the next game he will drop on the bench. I mean, another game you see I, I use three tactics. Three tactics. And this, ty this type of the games decide the title it was not easy i mean one shot on the target only until goal and we still managed to win that's that's a really nice statement and now we have six points excellent excellent for me so let's go to deadline day And let's try to to sign the additional striker. I mean, he will not maybe even play at all. But I cannot risk. So I need him for the bench. If he is not happy, he can go at the end of the season. I mean, I can offer him squad. So I'm just bringing him in because he's a domestic player, he doesn't need time to adapt and he has certain quality, what I like of course, with high speed and the movement. Take part. Fuck. 
Very good player. See his price is like this. Our last train maybe. Huh? You see they dropped, you remember before was a one point something million, uh, mandatory no, How optional I can put. I don't know if they accept like this, but okay, let's try. Uh, he's staying, I will not sell him, I don't have nobody. Uh, they got... Oh shit, wait. 53. Not too much. Okay, let's try with 40. Or let's say like this, let's try. You never know, maybe I will get so much money I decide to buy him. Yeah. They want 53. Okay, 50. Now, no, no chance I pay this kind of money for him. You see, Barbosa is going for very cheap money to Tottenham. Okay, let's, uh, let's try to close this deal now. Very good. I'll take all this shit. Even young gold, all of them. He's training advanced forward. That's it. One to three days. Ah, Bella. But he's target man, I didn't need target. He was he went to Leicester on loan. Very good left back, actually. Maybe I needed to push for him also, but I I cannot, you know, I have already Henderson on loan. Okay, so we are skipping this one. Let's go to play one more game. Oh, it's almost two weeks, and it's actually boring at home.
Yeah, I'm planning now to put Stanishich as starter instead of this, uh, this guy. I mean, for season 2, Golson is staying. I don't know what to do with Henderson. Is there any uh, buyout option? I mean, the three players what I invested will stay Berge, Golson, Vitinha. Then you have some situational players. I think this guy, uh, central defender, I will sell. He's pricey and I think it's better to sell him. Uh, Lingard, I think also is better to sell. This Johnson maybe to keep. Or also sell. Midfielder, so Brian needs to be sold. Uh, I can keep Berge Mangala. But I will also say Mangala to sell. Ojeda also to sell. I mean, how most of the team? Most of the team. I also don't have a right back. So season two will be a lot of changes. I mean, I will go with two strikers. That's that's the definitely thing. And actually, I will go with Diamond. So this guy will take his spot up front. Uh, Rovella is also back very good. Bench, bench. Injured Stanisic will be starter. That's it. Shit, they almost scored.
Ah, oh, I wanted to play fucking diamond, not this one, and I put the wrong one. Yo, doesn't matter, I need to win also with this one, but... I wanted to play diamond, actually. Because the numbers are a little bit different than with uh... that means him here, him here. fast because uh, tactical slot numbers are different than what I was using with Fulham I remember one was amateur but there was diamond was two and uh, penetration three here is opposite come on boys and I done all three subs shit This is now very bad. Who will play central defender or something like this? I will go. Berge will play there. I mean, they have Juba up front, so. Yo, he missed. I will still push my defense. Change to very attacking. They almost scored. Boys, I lost home against fucking Bournemouth. Piece of shit. I mean, I was in good form and now bullshit. Losing. I mean, statistic is okay, but <sighs> disappointing. Now I lost him for seven weeks. So boys, that's it. Unfortunately, we lost the game, but we are still on the top, you know. There is still plenty of games, so we will fight. We will fight, and that's it. So see you soon. Bye.